So I am currently hit and I was the Guthrie Fellow in Children's Health this summer at Children's Hospital Colorado. Um, and this is a large hospital system uh, with several satellite clinics. The actual research work that I did was done at the main hospital, um, but I also spent several days at the satellite clinics um, following various doctors um, and being able to see some of what goes on at those clinics as well. Um, and this is located in Aurora, which is right outside of Denver. Um, so that was pretty cool. I used to live out in Colorado, so I was happy to get back there. Um, and it's a really neat area. Um, so my specific research project was a study of anterior cruciate ligament injuries. Um, so your anterior cruciate ligament is located in your knee. Um, if you're looking head on at someone's knee, you've got two ligaments on the sides and then two that cross in the middle. And one of these is the ACL. Um, so this is commonly torn with twisting motions, um, so a lot in basketball, things like that, basically just being an active person. Um, so what we were looking at is a comparison of self grafts to donor grafts. Um, so when they do the repair, they either use tissue from the person themselves, usually their hamstring, which is this muscle back here, um, or they'll get it from a cadaver. So they wanted to see how successful each of these methods was. Um, so there are several steps involved in this process. Um, my first job was the creation and mailing of the data instruments. Um, so we had a large patient population um, and I worked with an internet database to create a survey that was user friendly and pretty simple to complete. Um, and then obviously we had to mail out all these packets to people so I got to do the lovely job of stuffing envelopes. Um, I also completed a chart review to get all of the relevant surgical information, including the surgeon, the graft size, um, those sorts of things that we had record of at the hospital. Um, I then completed a phone survey with my stylish headset. Um, so we were contacting all the patients to give them a gentle reminder to fill out their surveys um, and also to just get a general feel for the function of their knee on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then obviously I spent some time entering the survey info that we received. Um, so that's sort of the, the process of my project. Um, the conclusions that we came to um, was that patients in both groups required similar numbers of revisions after their repair. So it seemed that both types of surgery were equally successful and they also had similar numbers of people that returned to their previous activity level. Um, this is really promising because it means that maybe neither way is better. Um, so it might be up to patient preference. Um, so that's good to know as well. Um, and then they planned on future analysis looking at a larger patient pool and also considering different variables such as graft size um, to see whether the size of the graft relates to the success rate of the surgery. So in addition to my main project, I also got to help some of the researchers out with their projects, which was really neat to get to experience a larger area of research. Um, so this is me working on a concussion testing protocol, actually. Um, this pad here was used to measure uh, cervical neck strength. Um, one of the things that they prescribe for kids that have a lot of concussions is cervical neck strengthening. But there's not actually a lot of evidence that suggests that concussions are caused by weak neck muscles. Um, so they designed this setup to test that. So I got to be their guinea pig and try out the testing protocol. Um, so it was pretty neat to work on other projects. Um, and as I mentioned, I got to shadow some doctors. Um, so I spent time with Dr. Area Province in an orthopedic clinic, um, actually seeing patients and assessing their injuries. I also spent time in surgery with my primary investigator. Um, I got to see x-rays taken in surgery, which was really neat. Um, so it was a very holistic experience. I got to spend time with a physical therapist. Um, I got to hang out with an ortho tech and learn how to put on casts. Um, so it was a really holistic experience of an orthopedic medicine area. Um, so what did I learn? I learned a ton. Um, I got to revisit the difficulties of research, um, which is always fun, working on that perseverance factor, um, which is always really important when you're working against all sorts of obstacles that you usually can't tell what they are at the beginning. 
Um, and it taught me about working toward a bigger goal. I wasn't just working to complete these phone surveys. Um, my primary investigator really helped me to see that the results that we were getting might have, is, is outcomes-based research. So this could have an impact on future clinical practice, which is really cool when you think about the large scope of what it might affect. Um, personally, it taught me a lot about the type of job that I wanted. I liked moving around and testing out the protocols. Um, I didn't really like being stuck at a desk all day. I liked moving around and talking to people. and um, So it definitely taught me a lot about what type of job I'd be interested in. Um, and I also gained confidence with patient interaction. As I mentioned, I got to see lots of different types of interactions. Um, so that was a very neat experience. My professional impact, um, it was a great job experience. I got to do research, I got to delve into the field a little bit. I made some great job connections. Um, I got to meet all sorts of really awesome doctors who were very helpful, very willing to share their experience. I saw many aspects of the healthcare and interactions with various specialties. Um, so that was really neat. As far as the future impact, I plan on applying to PA school or physician assistant school. Um, so this definitely solidified my path um, and medicine obviously has a very wide scope so choosing what aspect you want to study is a pretty big accomplishment so um, and it also directed my medical interest toward a specific field um, I'm very interested in pediatric orthopedics um, and obviously that might change but it's kind of cool to know that I have a goal to work towards um, and so this has caused me to look for job opportunities and clinical experience hours to enhance my, um, I guess just my experience in the medical field and specifically pediatric orthopedics. Um, so I'd like to thank a number of people. Um, my site supervisor, Patrick Carey, is a Cornell alum and he worked tirelessly to help me organize this. Um, also Glenn Engelman was my my shadow there, he helped me out and taught me all the sneaky ways about how you're supposed to do everything. Um, my doctor, um, Dr. Armando Vidal, my primary investigator, not only did he help me with research, but he also allowed me to shadow him in surgery. Um, so that was pretty cool to see how he applied the things that we were learning to surgery. Uh, my faculty sponsor, Jennifer Fagenbaum, all of the doctors that I got to shadow as well as the physical therapists, they were very generous with their time and their knowledge. Um, my fellowship sponsor, um, and then obviously the Cornell Fellows Program. I, this would not be possible without them. So it was a great experience, and I thank everyone that made it possible.